right? Market profiles, we're working for 32 years, same exact setups. First thing we do, you log in. We look at this black chart. Look at your trend filter, the Magenta MA. We don't use moving averages for support and resistance. We use it for trend direction. The markets can only do two things. Remember, it can go vertical or it can go sideways. That's all it can do in any market you trade. It doesn't matter what market you trade. Whatever you're trading, it can only do two things. We go flat, we're flat, and we trade the range, or we go vertical and we trade the retracement. Don't make it difficult. That's how we trade any market with this methodology. The best way to do it is look at this Magenta MA. If it's angled up, we're buying retracements. If it's angled down, we're selling retracements. If it's flat and sideways horizontal, we're going to sell the high, buy the low in the first and second test, like we did last week. Wait for the big breakout outside of value, meaning the green or the red profile. And then we're going to look for the first retest and try to get a breakout. We had a huge trade, $800 move last week like that in a range market. Here all our potential for you guys. So we know that we are trending up. So what do we do? There's only three chances that you get in an up trending market. You buy LVA, you buy the control point, or you buy the break retest of HVA, high value area. So only three shots you got on any market you trade. The easy way to look at finding areas where to buy and sell off of. Don't make this difficult. The number one that trumps all other profiles is volume profile. It's been around since 1994. I made a big red, big blue, and big green lines. Don't worry about these dots. These dots, don't worry about these guys. These small little dots. The first order of importance are this big red, blue, and green levels, period. Nothing trumps volume profile. Nothing. Once you see what those levels are, that's what you're going to try to play off of. Our last trade was right off of the control point. That blue level is the most volume that is being traded in that session in that market. That is going to create natural support and resistance for the market because these are electronically traded markets. It's leaving its footprint where to buy and sell off of based upon the activity of all the activity in the market, including hedge funds, prop firms, algorithms, professional, amateur traders. That's why the system's so accurate. So we know volume profile can trump it all because it's showing a footprint of exactly what's going on with the internals of the market. Keep it simple. Three shots at it. We're in uptrend. You buy out the control, you buy out the LVA. Or you look for the market to break. Our next setup would be a look for a break outside of HVA. We do have the crude oil inventories coming out at 11 o'clock today. We'll look for that. Look for a break outside. It may happen before. Retest, and you'll look for that buy signal right there off that brick wall. So that's what we have. In uptrending markets, we have three shots. You buy the low value area, which is a green solid line. You buy the control point, which is the most volume that's traded off the blue line. Or you buy the break retest of HVA. Now, why do I have the dots on there, though? What's these small little dots about? What's this red dot, blue dot, and green dot about? What they are about is about price profile. That's been around since 1985. Price profile also leaves a footprint of previous price action. The difference between price and volume, obviously one is volume based, one is price based. They're calculated different. So what we do is what we want to try to do then is we want to try to use them as confluence or stack levels. If you look at my last control point buy, it's a beautiful setup to stop right at the control point with my beautiful Fibonacci dots over here on the white chart. It gave us a beautiful buy signal for the upside. We got a runner still in place, runner still in the books. But what happened? Look at the confluence. Look at my longer term pros, but my longer term profiles are in these small little red, blue, and green dots high value, low value, and 
Control point, same thing. But look at it. Look at the stack level that it gave you for a launching point. That is a launching point because it's two times stacked area. And that gave us a zone to buy because we already know to buy the control point, but it gave us a buy zone, which is called a stacked or confluence level. Where did it stop? There's only three profiles that we deal with. I deal with volume profile, the most important on the black chart. You can't miss them. I made the lines really thick for your own charts, but you can see them in the room. Works on all markets, the same exact time frame. These are longer term profiles. It's not your standard market profile that everybody uses. We don't use standard 30 minute market profiles. In fact, I don't use 24 hour market profile either. It doesn't work as well. What I do use is I use this big blue line as the most volume is traded off my long term profiles to project my big volume levels. Then I use a price profile to find confluence with these small little dots. If I look up here, why the market stopped exactly here, look at the price profile overlapping the volume profile. They're exactly right over top of each other. That just created two times confluence. Now that's not called a brick wall. That's just called two times confluence, but it creates major resistance. What a brick wall is, is when I have two profiles on this white chart, right? The volume, which is solid, the dots, which are price. What's on this white chart? I only have two profiles on this white chart. I have high value developing, and I have low value developing. Well, I have developing profile over here on the white chart at 45.87. Look at the right side margin. So you got developing profile 45.87. I got volume profile 45.90, and I got price profile 45.89. That is what's called a brick wall. It is very difficult on any market you trade for price to penetrate that. It's almost impossible. You can actually put limit orders in without getting market delta to sell on the first and second test of these areas. In other words, you come within one or two ticks of this, you can put limit orders in just above that line or just below that line or even right on that line. And after you get a red red bar reversal over here on this white J signal chart, you can put your stop two ticks above that swing high. You can literally have a four to six tick stop on brick walls and try to get a $600, $700, $800 trade, risking 60 bucks. It happens all the time. You're going to see hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of trades like that. If it's stacked three times confluence and if it's the first or second test, how you can risk only forty to sixty dollars per one contract and try to make a big trade. You scale on the first push, try to let it run. You see tons of them. You've seen hundreds of them since the room's been open. Hundreds and hundreds of them. Off the brick. So that's called a brick wall. So I know that off the control point by the brick wall is obviously resistant. You had to scale. That's why I said everybody's got to be scaled there. Got to scale at least 50% of your position, see if you can break through. But I know now also with crude oil inventories coming out, I know also that if I break through 90, that's natural support now. Old resistance becomes new re support, old support becomes new resistance. So I know if I break out and I retest on this ABC long, I have a long right here off the volume profile. Simple as that, right? So that is your major play your next play if you break retest you're allowed you're allowed to sell the first and second test and buy the first and second test of profile then you wait for a break on the third test so that's what we're dealing with every day we're dealing with volume price and developing profile three profiles okay there you go guys you got a corrective wave here on gold that I talked about Try and develop here. Make sure you scale in the first push. We just talked about that trade possibly coming up because we are in a flat to downtrending market. We had a first break retest off the rejected area, and now the corrective way, that's the only time we like to counter the market, it is developing right here on gold, just like we talked about before it happened right there. So heads up. Make sure you scale in the first push. All right, so that's how we do it, guys and gals. Uptrending markets, three shots at HEA, control point, LVA, and then you trade the brick. 
Cheryl, go over to gold real quick. Gold. All right, before we shut this off, what I tell you, what could come up here? We had a buy point here off the control point. I mean, off, I'm sorry, the, uh, yeah, right at that level. We had a little, little buy set up. Then what do we say? Look for a rejected level. Look for the rejected level off the high value area. This is where the counter trend trade move. It's not really in a counter trend because it's in a downtrend. When you break back inside of HVA, high value area, you break back inside of it. You look for a retest. And we just had a sell set up that just told you look for it to happen right there. Look how we had negative market delta right on it. That was beautiful. That's how you project trades ahead of time. We talked about this trade developing around 15 minutes ago. You can project these levels way ahead of time by buying inside or outside of profile. Now, if I move crude over, our last crude trade, look at the difference. One is a corrective wave, one is a motive wave. A corrective, a motive is with five minute trend. This came down to my control point on crude. See how it broke out a high value area that caused strength on this white chart? The white chart's very easy to read. The only time I really like looking at it is for brick walls, for support resistance, and then also if it overlaps my volume and price, but also if it gets inside and outside my red or green. Look at this, that created strength in the market for the pop. Then it got back inside of HVA and that created, I mean this one over here got back inside of HVA which created weakness which created the short. See the difference? This was with trend with crude, broke outside of high value area, came down and popped right off the control point. This one broke back inside of high value. The difference is it broke inside, not outside. It broke inside, not outside. It broke inside, which created weakness. Comes up to HVA, there's a short. All rule-based system. Same setup every day.